Hey beard lovers, it's the day after Valentine's Day, so we can all go back to taking our loved ones for granted. For all you loners out there, I would recommend not checking your cell phone to see all of the drunk texts that you sent your exes. Do me a favor, hold your cell phone up to the screen, right there in that area. Got it? EXPLOSION! Oh, it's also Explosion Wednesday. It's a weekly thing I'm trying out. I'm not sure if I want to make it official. Stay tuned to find out. And if you're not old enough to drink, how can you possibly soberly enjoy my video? So if you are one of those sober watchers, Swatchers, so botchers, so watchersers, and you probably don't make it all the way to the end of my videos, so you haven't seen me say that my band has two shows coming up. One tomorrow, Thursday, February 16th in Cleveland, and one the next day, Friday, February 17th in Vestal, New York at Binghamton University. All the info in the doobly-doo. And I have a new iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch app. See, you can have a beard on your mobile device. Now you may notice I sound sick, but don't worry, the upcoming shows are gonna be fine. I'm like Wolverine. I don't mean I have an accelerated healing process. I'm like the actual Wolverine. I can kill prey many times my size. So if grizzly bears show up or anything, don't worry, I'll take care of it. And then we'll have a nice healthy meal. But sometimes I have potent anal scent glands, so watch out for that. I should be a show promoter for a living. Speaking of that part of the body, in explosion news, one frat guy decided to shoot a bottle rocket out of another frat guy's buttocks. I tried to make it sound classier by saying buttocks. Now I'm all for a rip roar and good time, and I don't mean to be a party pooper, but neither did this guy. The bottle rocket didn't shoot out. It just exploded right there. Ultimate case of constipation. Oh, come on guys, come on. After 618 videos, I'm entitled to a few poop jokes. The guy was startled, flatulent, I mean naturally, and he fell off the deck, but it was only four feet in length. A short length, luckily. About the same length as their friendship. Probably. Because he is suing the pants off of him, so they will both be pantless before it's all over. The moral is, if you think up something that might be awesome or hilarious if you saw it in a movie, the reality is it's probably stupid and has real consequences. I learned this the hard way when I tried to win the Kentucky Derby after I saw Seabiscuit. I was the horse. <sighs> Took fourth, didn't even place. Did way better in the Preakness. Second moral, I like fireworks as much as the next guy does, but not from my butt. That was a haiku. I think my work here is done. Wait, wait a second. Is this... Oh my god, is this Wheezy Waiter's video? This is ridiculous. He was just trespassing on my video a second ago. We were doing this, this collaboration on the concept of free will. It's actually really interesting, but... I wonder how I get back there. I learned this the hard way when I tried to start my own soul plane. I learned this the hard I learned this the hard way when I decided to start a dog sled team. No, turns out dogs don't talk. I learned this the hard way when I tried to be big mama. I learned this the hard way when I tried to sing and dance with a bunch of orphans. I learned this the hard way when I tried to do a dance number in an all woman jail. I learned this the hard way when I tried to sparkle with lead based sparkle paint. I learned this the hard way when I tried to be the man with no name. And kiss signing up for karaoke goodbye. I learned this the hard way when I tried to pass off the corpse of my dead friend as my alive friend. It was actually a pretty good time, but then we had to do it for the sequel, and that was just a waste of time. I learned this the hard way when I tried to establish world peace between two superpowers through a boxing match. It worked. I just thought it'd be more fun. I learned this the hard way when I tried to become a terrorist and take over a building. The building turned out to be Osama Bin Laden's compound, and I accidentally became a hero. I learned this the hard way when I threatened that my mom would shoot if someone didn't stop. Turns out that someone was my mom. She shot at me anyway. I learned this the hard way when I tried to rob a casino with ten other dudes. Turns out I don't have that many friends. I learned this the hard way when I tried to learn this the hard way.